Hey, Cancer Seekers. Happy birthday to my dad. Um, I'm recording this on his birthday, July 20th. <clears throat> what was his birthday anyway? My dad died when I was very little. This is his watch. <clears throat> Recently, I felt the need to wear it. It's absolutely bigger than my, it's like twice my size. Heavy, but sometimes you need to feel your true family around you. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, you have your family, but not all of them are true, unfortunately. If anything, some of them are quite the opposite than true. And there is some morbid comfort in having a true family worn by you. It's somewhat morbid, somewhat senseless, and yet it works. <clears throat> like a cancer on a bad mood. <laughs> yes, I said it. I, look, it's a compliment. When you're in a bad mood, it still works somehow. I mean, come on. You guys are so sweet. So even when you're upset or clingy or all the stereotypical stuff or shady, you still do it in, a, in, in an endearing way. It's very hard to be mad at you. Many of you have learned how to use it. That's okay. We all have our gimmicks. We all have our tactics. Conscious or unconscious. We all do things that work for us. Eight of Swords. Even if they keep us stuck. Even if it only works for the aspect of us that no longer makes us happy. But it's what we know. It's how our mechanism operates. So we do it. And maybe there is no way around it. Maybe us mortal human creatures are bound to be bound to our own sentimental idiocy, King of Cups. We mean well. Oh, we mean well. But do we actually do well? There is someone who cares about you. This King of Cups, they care about you. They want to show up for you. They want to listen to you. They want to hear you, truly hear you. They want to hear not just what you say, but also what you don't say. So they're listening. They're listening to your words, but they're also listening to your body language, to your tone, to your dark humor. They soak it all. Oh, oh, okay. Drama in the house. <clears throat> Page of Swords in the up, Upright, Eight of Pentacles in the Reverse. So we have Eight of Swords in the Upright, Eight of Pentacles in the Reverse. Yay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Queen of Wands and King of Swords in the Reverse. And then Knight of Swords and the Hierophant in the Upright. Okay, what a reading. So many people. What a loop. Why would two people that only seemingly surface level fit, but actually can't stand each other, would work so hard to maintain either a commitment or um, foundation of some sort oh it's it's because of the kid or the kids huh is that what you tell yourself you just like being stuck or they just like being stuck or both of you just like being stuck
So maybe this person who's listening to you and wants to be there for you is a friend, a potential lover that you're developing feelings for, or they develop feelings for you. Or this could be a teacher, a mentor. Um, I don't want to say a boss because there's something more spiritual to this, although it could be. Someone who lets you do whatever you want. Who lets you get away with everything because they really want to see you happy and smiling. Someone who's not afraid to make promises to you. But then you're not looking at them. You are looking at the person who will not look back at you, who will not invest in you, who will not focus on you. You keep wandering off to their direction, either to their energy or thinking about them. Whatever it is that they're up to, they're not up there with you. They're focused on theirs. They have an entire world that they're focused on and you are not a part of it. And there is a parallel universe where things would work out between the two of you. But in this universe, they're not. But you're holding on to the narrative that is possible somewhere else. Well, you know, you're not there, Cancer. You're here, wherever it is that you are. And I'm not saying it in ways of good or bad. I'm saying it in ways that this is what is. And you do have something existing that could be very nourishing, very loving, very true. Show me more about this. I also see a couple that is only surface, only seemingly together, but they're not really together, meaning they're together on paper or they're together for their family or they're together for the green card. I don't know. Together for whatever, but they're not actually in essence together. It's, it's, a, it's a show that they're putting on. Um, maybe for the sake of the system or society or their culture or their family or their job or, you know, I don't know. Um, and maybe this is what preventing one of them or you, if you're one of them, to actually be in a situation where it's mutual and nourished and true, nourishing and true. Right? This person that you keep gazing at that is not there for you. Maybe they're in a commitment that there's something very mechanical about it, you know, like I just described. I don't see them coming around from it in, in the month of August. Hey, welcome to your August reading. <laughs> welcome to the existential shift. My name is Morgane, in case I have not mentioned it. Oh, you don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm not being sarcastic or facetious. Truly, it doesn't matter. In here, you and your story matters. Knight of Swords. Show me more for Cancer about this for August, please. Seven of Cups. Don't get lost in this, Cancer. Don't get lost in this situation. Really focus on your well-being, on your success, on your finances, on your health, on your uh, vitality, on your status, all of it, all of it. You have to find a way to take yourself out of this story because it's not getting any clearer in, in, in the next month. 
anything, it becomes even more toxic. If you're dealing with someone who is in a toxic situation, if you stay there in that swamp, it will inevitably glue to you, okay? It's, it's theirs to, to figure out, to break out of, to work on. They are not focusing their attention on you. They are focusing their attention on whatever this is. Uh, this might be something very intense, very looped. They're like in this loop hole. Um, that they have to find a way to break out of. And if you try to wiggle your way in there or help them or stay and wait, and fit, you will just get caught up in the fog and you will lose yourself and you will not be helpful. The best way for you to be helpful right now for everyone involved is to focus on you and what's clear to you and what's right in front of you. Take things at face value. Give attention to people who give you attention. Be present with situations and people who are present with you. Otherwise, this month can be a goo of a nightmare. Seriously, you can find yourself in a very difficult mental space when you can actually have a lot of fun and connect and make very interesting, positive connections. Show me more. Please, from my beautiful Cancerian Seekers. How was your birthday? Let me know how was your birthday season. Does it feel nice, Little Mermaid, to step out of, to swim up, up and out of the deep waters and into the sun? Huh, Ariel? Are you tempted to give your voice so you could spend time with the humans out on the shore? What people would give to have the voice of a siren and swim the depths of the ocean. And here you are, just that, wanting to give that away for the people. Being a mythologi mythological creature is awesome. They all want to be you. But when they're about to tell you that they want to be you, you start acting like, oh, I wish I could be there with you and I wish I could do that with you. And they're like, oh. You are very special. So that's why people think you're very special. Don't confuse them and make them wonder maybe you're not special. You are special. How did you forget? Ooh, another eight, just because we didn't have enough eights on the table. Eight of cups, right after the seven of cups. You gotta let it go. Let go of the fog. Go to the dry clarity, yes. Better dry clarity than moist fog. I know I just gave you an entire speech about being a mermaid at the bottom of the ocean. Whatever. Look at this as analogies and metaphors. I swipe them every now and then. No, seriously. Um, there's, there's something here. There's a loophole for you to break. We have three eights. It's not funny. I'm not kidding. <laughs> there's a loophole to break out of. Which means stepping out of the... Whatever element you force yourself to be in that isn't natural to you for the sake of being there for someone else, right? And you keep getting pulled back. It's like an actual crab trying to, you know, get away into the dry portion of the shore, but the wave keeps coming in and grabbing them. but the waves keep grabbing at you and pulling you back because you're letting them. You can go faster. Something make, something about you forces you to stay there, keeps you stuck on purpose. You allow it. 
You kind of indulge in it. It gives you a bizarre sense of power, knowing what to anticipate. walk away from the bullshit, you find your horse, you find your tribe, you find your success, you find your abundance, you find your opportunities, you find your cooperation, you find your fun. Leo season can be a whole lot of fun unless you let your own Cancerian season keep dragging you back to whatever element you should not be in right now. Okay, Ariel, step outside of the ocean, walk on the shore, but without giving away your voice. And not because you want to be one with the people, but because you are a mythological creature who wants to expand even further. It's in the mindset. What is the Six of Wands? What is the Six of Wands for my Cancerian Seekers? For the month of August. Who's that? Mm, yummy. Emperor. I mean, isn't that better than a King of Swords in the reverse? It stays stuck with the Queen of Wands in the reverse, and this karmic loophole of viciousness. Get yourself. This emperor. Who's only stagnant, who only sits still when it's in service of their highest good. And not because they're stuck in a karmic loop. Who has that energy, who has that power, who has that foresight. An ability to execute based on that foresight. Be discerning, getting rid of things that are not making them happy, making room for things that are make them, that do make them happy. You've been dealing with someone who's working very, very hard on fixing something they're not supposed to fix, that doesn't want to be fixed, can't be fixed, and they keep themselves miserable, and they just bury themselves deeper and deeper. They dig them, themselves a deeper and deeper hole with this person that they're with. And this could be you. Sweetheart, this could be you. Insisting on this, whatever this is. Now, if this is the other narrative of someone is being in a partnership for whatever technical reason, look, it depends on what that is. I don't know. Infinite possibilities in this world. Either way, you don't have room. And for some of you, this is you being promoted. This is you arriving to very high achievements. This is you leveling up your status, your income, your resources, um, having more following, more people, leading them. You could be a CEO of a company. You can be a, a creator online with a growing um, following. You can be a leader. This is a leader. You could be stepping into your leadership position that you've been postponing and denying yourself of because you've been stuck in this emotional swamp. <clears throat> and don't mean like, and if you're cross watching or you're not a cancer, oh, well, cancers are always stuck in emotional swamp. No, cancers are very strong. That's why when they're when they're digging their heels in emotional swamps, they're do, they do it really well in all the way. They're just like digging themselves down to the bottom of the earth, right? It just depends on where cancer puts their energy and focus on. You guys are very strong. And Pluto is across from you. It has been for a very long time, I know, but...
something about this time, and maybe there's an astrological reason to it, but something about this time that I'm picking up on, it's, it's on one hand, it pulls you to, into very dark places, like from the other side, and on one hand, it spits you out of it. I think it really depends on the choices that you've made and your, and your level of frequency and where you're at in your consciousness, you know? You're either drawn deeper into the darkness or you're being spat out of it. It won't accept you anymore. You're too, too bright for it. Let yourself be the Cancerian that is being spit out by the darkness and have no choice based on their energy, frequency, and vibration to just step into a leadership position and build something really big that people follow. Break out of these all these aids. There is a marriage here that is um, very toxic, that is collapsing. It is temporary. It will end. But I'm not seeing it collapsing yet in August. You can't be on hold for this. Let fate run its course. If this is your person, this is your person, you know? And if not, not. Don't wait around. If you're meant to be with this person, it will somehow work out. But right now, this person really has to go through swimming in this mud to a level where they, they can't breathe anymore. They really need to get it. They really need to get it. And you can't meddle in this and you can't help them get it unless they come to you for an advice, which they sometimes do. Sometimes out of the blue, they're like, oh, I don't know what to do. I can't deal with this person. And you're like, and then you repeat the same things you've already told them. Just be like, no, I've said what I have to say. You need to figure this out and I can't be stuck in this. Thank you. Bye. Have a great day. Talk to me when you sign the papers, but I can't say that I'll still be here. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Too busy to think about it right now. And don't don't let it be a show. Make yourself busy. You have things to, to be busy over. A lot. Good stuff. Jupiter and Aries trining you is doing you... Wait, what did I just say? No. Season, August season, being trined by Jupiter and Aries is doing very well to your finances. There it is. You have a lot that you can build on. That's the bottom line. Um, okay. So let's see the extended that will be available below in the description, either on Patreon or on Vimeo, depending on what you prefer. Uh, these are the people that you are dealing with. Okay, we're going to see into every single one of these. Who are they? Who is this? What's this about? You know, only one six and one seven. And these are the major arcanas. We'll check into the hair. So these, this is a, a crucial event occurring in August. Three eights here. So I will clarify what this event is. These are their major processes and archetypes you're dealing with. In August, I will clarify this. And these are the people. And I will look into them. Okay, and then I'll, after that, I'll then pull rooms. Okay, so I'll see you there in a second. Thank you, yay. Be sure to do this, press the like button. Um, yeah, bye for now.